close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. If the mind is going to talk to itself about anything, talk about the breath. Ask yourself, is the breath comfortable? If it's not, you can change the rhythm. No one's forcing you to breathe in a way that's uncomfortable. And when the breath is comfortable, what do you do with the comfort? How do you make sure that you don't start blurring out? These are good questions to ask yourself. It's, it's good to know how to talk to yourself like this, because we spend so much of our time talking to ourselves in ways that are really destructive. And of course it starts spilling out in our mouths when we talk to other people. We have to learn that okay, the, your thoughts need to be trained. We have that big sign up in front of the guest house. If you're going to say something, wait until you know that it's true and beneficial and this is the right time and place. And these are useful guidelines, because if you can't control your mouth, as a John Fuhring once said, how are you going to control your mind? But of course what happens in the mouth comes out of the mind. So it has to start within. When a thought comes up in the mind, you have to ask yourself, is this true? Well, if it's true, then you ask the next question, is this beneficial? Okay, If it's beneficial, then you ask the next question, is this the right time and place? Because sometimes there's a time and place to be come down heavy on something, and other times when you have to be really gentle. You have to know the time and place. Otherwise, if you can't answer these questions, just don't speak. It's so easy for people to just let whatever comes in their heads come out their mouths. They seem so proud of the fact that they were able to form a thought. They want everybody to know. But we should be a little bit more mature than that by this time. They realize if the things that we say we can't figure out what's the right thing to say and what's not the right thing to say, and just don't say anything. It's so much easier to keep your mouth closed. You'd think it would be easier to keep your mouth closed than to come out and say something that's unskillful. But for a lot of people, it's, it's the other way around. The unskillful stuff comes out, and it's very hard for them to keep their mouths closed. Well, this goes back to the mind. The mind needs training. So focus on what you're saying to yourself, and is it useful? Well, if it's not, if it's not true, it's not useful. Put it aside. If it's not the right time and place for that, put that aside. Learn how to be more in control of your thoughts. And this way you can be in control of your mind and your mouth at the same time. Which is important. A lot of the difficulties we have in life as human beings come from our mouths that just go on and on and on, saying this, saying that. Sometimes we feel the need to say something, or we feel that if we don't say something, no one will pay attention to us, or all kinds of other things that are going on in the mind. You know, a lot of this ends up causing trouble. So try to figure out how can you live in this life with causing the least amount of trouble. Well, one main place to focus is on your mouth. Both what you're saying to yourself in your mind and what comes out your mouth. These are th things that are really important. You've got this human mind that can form sentences, that can think thoughts. Use it well. You went to all this trouble to become a human being, okay, make sure that you main, at least maintain this status. And once you've got these powers, we'll use them well. Use them for your own true well-being and for the well-being of others. That's what gives you the right to continue having them. 